Pirates hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 122 on the money line. The Pirates are minus 144. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 166, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Pirates laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 138, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. They played each other twice this season. The Red Sox won both games 8-1 and 4-2. The weather for tomorrow's game is supposed to be 48 degrees with 10 mile an hour winds blowing out. Now, neither one of uh, Winkowski pitched against the Pirates last year, three and a third, one run, one earned. They lost that game four to one, and he struck out three. And shockingly enough, Perez did not pitch against the Red Sox last season, which I found a tad bit baffling, but it, it does happen. The last time he pitched against them was in 2017. The last three times he pitched against the Red Sox, they lost, but that was as a member of the Rangers. Now, head to head, the uh, Red Sox are on a two game winning streak. The Red Sox are six and four. The road team has won the last five games they've played against each other. The road team is seven and three in their last 10. The underdog has won the last six games that they've played against each other. The underdog is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been two one run games in their last 10. The under is five, four, and one, and the under eight and a half runs is six and four. The Red Sox are five and five in their last 10. The under is six and four in their last 10. They're three and one in their last four. Two runs, nine runs, nine runs, six runs. Two runs and a win, four runs and a loss, eight runs and a win, four runs and a win. For the Pirates, they're two and eight in their last 10. They're on a five game losing streak, and the under is six and four in their last 10. Four runs, 10 runs, nine runs, six runs. Three consecutive losses, scoring one run, then they scored two runs today. If I was confident in anything, it would be to take the Pirates on the first five because once Perez comes out of the game, I do not trust their bullpen whatsoever. Like their bullpen is atrocious. So for that reason, I'm going to take the Red Sox with the money line. I'm going to take the Red Sox getting the runs. And because of the wind and the Pirates bullpen, I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.